Hey guys! Hello there! And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Lee. Yes, you are. I am. <laughs> I just remembered we didn't do that on the last episode. No, nope, we did not. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But I think they know who we are by now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So, in today's episode, um, I think we are going to be doing... I'm going to be doing a grenade pour. Okay, and I'll do a flip cup. Yes. But... We're going to be doing, showing you the difference between a lip and not using a lip. Lip and a non-lip. Lip and a non-lip. Yeah. And if you don't know what those are, stay tuned and you will find out. Yeah, main reason for this is that people keep asking us on the channel, stop lipping it. We don't, we want to see a flip and a grenade without (laughs) a lip. Neither of us prefer that technique. But yeah. we're going to showcase it here just to show you what the difference exactly, is. Exactly, exactly. So it's going to be a really fun episode. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about November. Me too. Yes, coming up for the the next Fluid Art Experience. Absolutely. And it's going to be November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Well done. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was wondering if those were the right dates. I was like, oh, God. Right. Um, 17th, 18th, 19th of November. Shows you just how much the show pony has involvement in arranging the Frilly Dark That's spirits. not true. That's, That's not, not true. true. That's not true at all. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, we will be rolling out the artists soon. We will. Very, very, very soon. Yes. And we have nine artists. Yeah. Uh, yes. In varying guises, in various forms. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so much fun. We hope to see you there. Right. Um, I think we should just jump and get to the table. I'm Absolutely. excited about this. Yeah, me this. too. We were using some beautiful colors. Yes. Let's get at it. All right, let's do it. Hello, ladies and yellow spoons. Welcome to the table. Yes. Um, it's fair to say it's 100 degrees yet again here in Texas this weekend, <laughs> and we are sweating through our clothes yes. in order to provide you guys with some fun content, we hope. Um, and some beautiful pieces of art along the way. So uh, excuse us if we drip profusely from our noses into our compositions because it is that warm here today. The colours that you'll see on the table, you've seen before with some colours taken out. So this is TLP Enchantment, I hope. This is Skylight Blue by Amsterdam. This is Deep Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics. Cobalt Metallic Blue by Artist Loft. That's Permanent Red Violet. I don't know why I can never remember that one. Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam. Thank you, Show Pony. 24 karat gold and white. This is Amsterdam's titanium white. And with these bevy of beautiful colors around this 16 by 20 inch canvas, which is what I've got right here, I'm going to do a flip cup. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because you're going to do a grenade. I am going to do a grenade. Okay, okay, okay. So I wanted to do something similar but different. I'm surprised. Um, are you surprised? I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? Kill surprise. Kill are you surprised? Well, you know, <laughs> I, I, if I'm nothing, I'm surprising. So, um, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I may or may not lip it, which we'll talk about when we get to it. Yes. So let's get these colours into this pot. Now, normally, you will pour into a white. Yes. You do that all the time. I do that all I'm going to pour into the TLPs. <gasps> wow. I know, because it's probably the only time I'm going to use them in this pour. Wow. So, um, next to put the colours into a flip cup, dirty style. Yep. Dirty style means this. Basically, pouring the paints from the cup into our cup that we're going to flip, nice and high, in order to get the colours to mix as you pour them into the cup. Yes, to right? pierce each color. Exactly, we're piercing as we pour. So I'm probably, what, two feet above my cup? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And I'm gonna pour the colors straight into that TLP color. And if you can see right here, you'll see that they've mingled and pierced and yeah. looking all fantastic and wonderful. Uh, and I'm gonna do that with all the colors. And possibly a little bit of sweat in there too. <laughs> so. Blood, sweat, and tears go into the making of the Massey Art Studios paintings, literally. Very blue and purple right now until I add a shot of this delicious, wonderful colour. And then a little bit of gold for good measure. A little bit. Yeah, two two little squirts. (laughs) Two little squirts of gold. Oh, look at the bubble. And it I love that, how cool. All right, so um, am I going to add a flow extender or am I going to add a base coat? 
Hmm. Base coat. All right, Show Pony, tell the people at home the difference between the two. Okay, so a base coat is whenever you put uh, paint all over your canvas. Okay. And um, usually it's leftover paint that you spray, so okay. that kind of thing. So, um, so you put that all over your canvas, so that way when you flip your cup onto the canvas, right. and you pull your cup up, that composition will flow over that, that base coat paint. And um, whenever you go to stretch it out, it slides better and moves better. That's right. Now, whenever you have just a flow extender, which is with the paint you put around your composition, mm -hmm. what happens is, is that your composition, the paint that you pour in the middle, like for a ring pour, it anchors it to the canvas. So okay. when you put that fl that flow extender around it, it allows the edge of like the paint to actually move over those edges. And you think I should put a base coat? I think you should put a base coat. I agree. Now this wonderful two and a half quart, two quart jug is actually all the scrapings off the table. Whenever I'm on social media, people never see the video from start to finish. They just see a two or three minute snippet of it. Yeah. One of the things that people always say is, what a waste of paint. Well, no, it's not a waste of paint because every single thing that doesn't stay on the canvas gets put into our pop slot, slot bucket. Our slot bucket, <laughs> probably should think of a better name. But this slot bucket basically is both for flow extenders and for base coats. Yes. Now these are not always the nicest of colours. Well, you know what, it doesn't really matter nope. because most of this, in fact, if not all of this, is going to get tilted off yeah. and the beautiful colours that are in the cup are going to be what stays. Show Pony, would you hand me your OXO spatula? Of course. my stylish headband on now to stop me sweating into my eyes. <laughs> um, so here's the cup that has been filled with all these wonderful paints. Yep. The next thing to do is to flip this one on the canvas. Now we taught this at the Fluid Art Experience. We did. And uh, Jeremy has a, a bit of advice, which is to keep your elbow into your body. Yeah. So what all you're doing is flipping with your wrist rather than going like this, otherwise you'll get the paint everywhere. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Keep this one nice and tight and put this one right onto the canvas. Yep. After a quick battery change, <laughs> because clearly we haven't been painting for three weeks and the batteries are dying <laughs> on us, um, I flipped my cup. Now it's time to release the colours. So yes. as I've been changing the battery, this has been sitting here for a good couple of minutes. Yes. And with a flip cup, you want to make sure that you allow that time for all those paints to come down the cup from what was the bottom to the top, because the top is now the bottom. So um, we're letting all those colours come out because now I'm going to release it. Okay. Now there are different ways of doing it. Jeremy likes to go straight up and just let paint drip out. Yeah. You can kind of flip and drag. You can flip, drag, and lip. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of just flip and drag this one. Is okay. my plan. Now people at home always say, every time you do a flip cup, you always lip it. I want to lip this one, but I'm not gonna do it intentionally okay. because I really want to show people what the difference between one that is lipped and isn't because I'm presuming you will. Yes. Yeah. So I'm not going to lip this one. Okay. I would normally because I do love to lip them, but I'm not going to intentionally just to show you guys the difference in the composition. Next, show pony what time's it? It is tilting time. It's 2:41. Let's tilt this bad boy out.
So there you have it ladles and jelly spoons. Okay, so this is a flip cup without a lip. And what you can see is a lot of just, you know, blending of color from one color to the next. This really beautiful uh, purple over here. Permanent, permanent red violet. Permanent red violet. <laughs> Melding into the beautiful cobalt blue. I really loved this streak of purple. I did not want to tilt it off, but I really liked how it kind of mirrors this other shape up at the top. Um, yeah, I, it's going to be really interesting. This one will sell as she sits. So they'll definitely pop, I say definitely, there probably will be more cells that'll pop up in this area. Uh, I can definitely see some of the primary red violet coming through here as well. There you go. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this one as it is because I'm really interested to see how this one dries. I'm gonna scrape this one off. And uh, here you are, there's your phone in. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in front of this camera <laughs> just so everyone can see that you can't stand still. <laughs> And uh, and then uh, I'm gonna let Show Pony show you a flip cup. Nice. All right, so I'll scrape my edges. Take you guys in for a close up. guys so this is me doing a grenade pour and if you can just hear my voice and can't see me it's because I'm wearing a camouflage headband but I'm here yes just to assure yes. you he yeah. is here I can I can yeah, attest, attest to that. so anyway so I got my cup I got my pen and I am ready for this grenade pour what is the grenade pour the grenade pour is whenever I take this pen and this cup and I stick this pen in the bottom of the cup, okay. like so. Mm -hmm. And what that does is, whenever I pour all of my paint in here, dirty style, um, and I flip my, 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 my cup onto my canvas, I pull this pin and it releases the suction from the cup and all the paint comes spilling out of the bottom of the cup. Okay, perfect. Yes. So it's actually the suction that pushes the paint out rather than as I did, I dragged my comp. Exactly, Got exactly. It. Are you going to dirty pour, dirty layer? I'm going to dirty layer. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you could do it right in the middle of your camera, so that would be sweet. Right there. Uh huh. Now you're using exactly the same colors. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm using exactly the same colors, but I'm going to pour into white. Okay. Love it. Why not? I love pouring into white. You would expect that. You would think that when you pour into white, it basically makes all the other colors less than what they are. So it would make the, you know, the, the reddier color a pink and the blue a really light blue, and, but it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't do that at all. It just acts as a, a carrier for all the other colors. So Jeremy pouring his paints are nice and high. So as you can see there, the white is still very prominent because the other colors have pierced. Yes. 24 karat gold. I'm a little bit more cautious with my gold. Mm. Jeremy also likes to do lots of little layers in a dirty pour. I, I kind of do thicker colors. Yeah, you go for it. And that will have an impact on your composition. I only put one layer of each of the colors into my pot. I like that blue. That was the TLP. That was the TLP. Some of this cobalt blue. 
Get that bad boy in there. Mm -hmm. Go back in with the purple. Go back in with some of this primary, I mean, permanent red violet. Some more of this. This light blue by Amsterdam, light sky blue, to be exact. Mm-hmm. Muggle. A touch. So as you, I probably put less gold in than you did because you put it in three times. I only put it in twice. Ah, oh, okay. There you go. I put it in twice. Okay. <laughs> we will see ladles and jelly spoons at home. We shall see. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to use all up all this paint because there's just a little bit of paint left in no, there. No, you should. Please do. No, I, I intentionally mixed enough so that we had just enough for the 80 ounces that we've been using in these pores. Because you'll notice that these are the colours that we've used in our previous episode in two different techniques. I think I am done. Yeah? Yes. You used every single colour? I did. All right. Yes, I did. Do you want a bit more gold? No. Okay. I can see I have enough gold in there. All right. What about a bit more white? Nope. You sure? I'm good. Yep. I'm good. Okay. Next. I got my dirty layered cup here. Now, are you also base coating or are you flood extending? I am going to put a base coat down. Okay. Let's get to it. Yes. Okay guys, so I have my cup here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip it onto my canvas. You are? I am. And are you gonna use the same technique that you taught me? Yes, then, I am. Then let's get A little up. bit elbow in, but you gotta just use that wrist so okay. I get that flip going. Do it. All right, here it is. Well, look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Stunning. It's like a Yay. model. It's like Linda Evangelista. Right. Some Naomi Campbell on the canvas. So because you are going to use the grenade, you don't need to wait for these colors to drip down your cup, correct? Nope. Yeah. I can go and pull the pen. All right. Then let's do it. All right. Here we go. As you can see, it's just coming out, going crazy. She's spilling out everywhere. Yep. Oh, I just felt a breeze from outside. Nice. Feels good, right? I see you kind of tilting the cameras a little just to help the composition, the, the, the grenade move. Yes, because travel. the canvas isn't very... Well, that's a problem. We, everyone always should make sure that your canvas is nice and level at yes. home, please. Yes. That's something that we failed to do, but I'll fix that before it dries. Yes. So I'm ready to go ahead and flip and lip it and okay. everything. Okay, lip it, we did not show them, so please yes. tell everyone what that means. Lipping your cup on your canvas with your composition is when you take your cup and you use the lip of the cup to like swirl it through the paint so it adds some depth and some uh some interest to the composition so it's like wrecking a ring wrecking ball, when you're just using the lip of the cup it is all right here we go Ooh, i like that mm, i like it too yeah that's really cool all right, you know what time it is. No, I do not. What time is it? Tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy off. Okay, I'm really liking this.
can't take it back Everything you've done You know youth is wasted on the young We still don't know Where we belong Time will tell us where Okay guys, that is me done. I am in love with this piece. It's so pretty. I love the colors. I love how that cobalt blue almost looks like, you know, turquoise. Yeah. It's this beautiful turquoise greenish color now. And that permanent red violet just, I mean, popped. It like turned pink you love it. and yeah, it's amazing. It's so very obvious to see the difference in the two compositions. We will mm -hmm. show you some side by sides in the outro. Yeah. So stick around for that. But look at all those lines. Yeah, it's amazing. Stunning. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna get my edges and take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it. So there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> exactly that. That's so when you say that. <laughs> so, yeah, so what did you think about the non-lip? I don't like it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I love line work. I love mm. lines. I love. I do too. It, for me, it kind of helps create some more motion and fluidity. You can't deny that there was kind of fluidity in that piece. It flowed beautifully from the different colors into each other, but it was very blended. Yeah. It's selling even as it sits. So it's a really stunning piece. It is a beautiful piece, but it's just, to me, it's a little basic as far as like the composition goes. Listen, There's not a whole lot to it. A very famous Real Housewife does say, <laughs> they don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> they hate me because they're basic. <laughs> so yes, I agree. It was a little basic. I can't believe you just said that, that's so funny. <laughs> it was a little basic. Right. What did you think of your lip? Um, I loved it. I loved how the colors intermingled with each other. Mm -hmm. I loved the line work in it. Um, I thought it was a very successful pour. I just, I, I, I think it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna go on a limb and say I really do believe it's probably one of my favorite grenade and lips of yours. Yeah. 
And uh, you know, clearly a lot of that was down to the colors that you used and how you used yeah. them. It Which was, you picked those colors, so thank you. You're very welcome. But you laid it really beautifully. It was a great, great composition. I will resin the behind out of this one. Oh, thank and, you. And uh, yeah, this will definitely go up somewhere. Hmm, I'm wondering if it's going to go up at the gallery of the FAE. And maybe it could do, <laughs> or maybe you'll put some pieces up on the website. Oh, yes. Yes, that I have to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, he does. So, well, thank you all for being here with us. Thank, thank you. you all for chatting with us if you're thank here you. at the premiere. And we will see you on actually next sunday yeah or this coming sunday this coming sunday yeah because yeah. this is tuesday so we'll see you on sunday for another yeah. fun pop. all right more intros and outros from you show pony so i can just sit back <laughs> and and chuckle away at you. yes i'm gonna start talking more you so are. it's all good mm -hmm. and i'm gonna shut up more <laughs> all right peeps we love you guys please go check out kathleen osmore it won't be a premiere but she'll be throwing up an episode yes. after us yes nate bright will be around us at some point yeah. too good on nate you know that there are a million people that follow us that we follow so please go check them all out yes absolutely we'll see you on uh, sunday yeah all right guys bye guys bye so what's a patreon what is a Patreon? I'll let me tell you. So the Patreons are a very special group of people. They are. They are here with us chatting all the time in the lives. You'll see them and you'll know these names as we run through them. But they want to have a little bit of an extra support, a little bit of an extra yeah. look at what goes on behind the scenes. So our Patreon account, completely separate, and at certain different levels, you get different perks. Yes. So at the bronze and silver levels, for example, you might get sneak peek pictures and sneak peek videos, yeah. things that happen behind the scenes in the studio. Yeah. At the gold level, you get that. Plus, you also get a live stream once a month. Yes. Access to a WhatsApp group where we all sit and chat and yeah. kind of just so much fun. Talk about pieces and yeah. exchange motivations and color theory and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. And then at the platinum level, you get all of that, and then you also get a live tutorial, tutorial. once a month. Yep. So lots and lots of really fun stuff that isn't necessarily what you get to see on the YouTube account, um, but it is something a little separate. Yes. So we have some special thank yous to do. Yeah. For our gold pourers, we have Crafty Chicken Mom. Amy. You've got Elizabeth Gilano. Yeah. Gillian Kennedy. You've got Gloria Salaki. Yeah. You've got Jane Klein. Uh -huh. Kelly Stowell, yep. or Feral Arts. <laughs> You've got Kirsten Blackley. You've got Linda Seriani. Yep. We've got Mary Doulas, or Mama Doulas. Mama Doulas. We've got Patsy Petrelli, yep. the Pocket Rocket. We've got Nate Bright, who you all love, has got his own channel. Mm -hmm. You've got Sharon Luffy. Stephanie Hancock. Stephanie Hancock. With those hugs. We've got Tammy Hasbrook. We have Terry Leshner. And we have Trisha West. Yes. And? And in the platinum level, we have the awesome Elaine Burton. Super awesome. Yes. We have Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve mm -hmm. Pittman. We have Susan Chigori. Oh my gosh, she's bought so many pieces from us. <laughs> I know, I know. Her walls are covered in art. I know. And we have Susan Shepperson. Oh my goodness, you all know Susan. Susan Shepperson, she's at every single premiere. Yeah. So thank you, Susan. We see you all know that. Yes. And to all of you guys and everyone else that you'll see here down below, we really, really, really do appreciate you. It is with your support that we keep our stocks of canvases and paint coming. Yeah. And it really does mean that we can just continue throwing up content for you all all i know so thank you so very much guys you guys truly are the best it helps us so much it really does thank you guys